My name's Joe Kramer. I'm the Cybertech Product Manager here at Mazak. I've been in the machine tool industry for 47 years, the last 33 of which I've spent here at Mazak. Today we're going to talk about our Integrex i630 Auto Gear Multitasking Machine. The i630 AG couples five axis machining and turning capabilities, but we've added the AG gear cutting package to this machine. This makes it what we call a hybrid multitasking machine. These machines go beyond just milling and turning by adding capabilities such as gear cutting or additive manufacturing. This machine now allows you to complete all of your machining requirements on one machine. You can do your turning and milling operations, even five axis milling, and then machine your gears on the same machine in the same setup. This allows for better throughput, better part quality due to reduced number of setups, and eliminates the need for a costly dedicated gear cutting machine. A lot of shops do not have enough gear cutting requirements to justify the purchase of expensive dedicated gear cutting machines, so those parts are typically jobbed out. The i630 AG allows you to keep your gear cutting in-house, thereby improving throughput as well as reducing your overall cost. So what makes this machine so special? The AG package includes high precision rotary scales on both the mill spindle and the C-axis table. It also includes our new smooth AI control with our smooth gear cam software, which allows you to program your gears right on the CNC control. In the past, you had to use an outside cam system for programming most types of gears. This allows you to enhance ability to efficiently cut gears without sacrificing the versatility. One of the main features on this machine is the tilting spindle head. This is one of the key elements allowing this machine to cut a wide variety of OD and ID gears such as helical, spur, splines, and straight or spiral bevel gears. This is done using a wide variety of machining methods such as hobbing, skiving, or gear milling. The other key element is the powerful direct drive turning table, or DDM, which is synchronized with the mill spindle using the dual high resolution rotary scale feedback system. This machine comes in both single or dual pallet configurations depending upon the customer's requirements. This particular machine is equipped with a two pallet changer. It can accommodate either manual chucks or fixtures, or as an option, it can handle hydraulic chucks and fixtures. It can also be integrated into our Palatech system with other types of machines, such as horizontal machining centers. Since a hybrid multitasking machine can do such a wide variety of operations, sometimes a large number of tools can be required. This particular machine has an 80 tool magazine, but it can be equipped with up to 348 tools and supports CAT, HSK and Capto connections. Thank you. Well, thank you, Joe. So specifically, what kind of gears can this machine cut? Well, as we discussed, it cuts a wide variety of gears, just about anything you're going to encounter. Uh, spur gears, helical gears, both spiral bevel gears, straight bevel gears, uh, anything that you're going to encounter in your shop, the machine can handle. And when we add the auto gear package to a vertical integrex like we have in this machine, what specifically changes on the machine? Well, we add the twin high precision rotary scale feedback, one to the mill spindle, one to the turning spindle. That helps synchronize those two axes to improve the gear cutting capabilities. We add the smooth gear cam package, which adds all the CNC programming directly to the control for a wide variety of gear cutting. Now, as skilled operators are retiring, shops are having to do more with less every day. What does this machine do to help close the skills gap in manufacturing? Well, it's such a versatile machine. Probably the biggest thing is the onboard programming on the CNC. It basically is question and answer. It takes a little bit of the guesswork out of knowing what you have to put into the control to pr program and cut your different types of gears. Well, thanks, Joe. Uh, we'd love to see a demo. Yeah, why don't we turn it over to Mike Finn, our application engineer, and he'll give you a demonstration on the capabilities of the i630 AG. Okay, Mike, so tell me about this workpiece. Well, the workpiece is a 2,000-pound uh, gear that has an ID spur gear, a double helical gear, and an OD helical gear. And what are we doing right now with it? Right now, we are turn milling using the C-axis 
and using the milling spindle to cut a deep groove in the OD of the part. Now that's just standard vertical integrex work, correct? Correct, a standard vertical integrex type work. Like even when we add the AG package to the machine, it still has all the versatility of your standard integrex machine. That's correct. And what, and what are we doing here? Right here we're showing a simple uh, 2D turning operation where we're cutting an apex groove in the double helical gear. And again, that's, that's prep work for the gear, but that's normal integrex. That's correct. But now we've gotten into the gear milling. Correct. Now what you see is uh, gear milling. So we're using the smooth gear milling software to develop the cutting program to mill the gear teeth. Okay. So this, this is when the AG package comes in, the software comes in, and, and it's easy to develop gears based on, on the software. That's correct. The, the user inputs the gearing information, the tooling information, and the cutting conditions, and the software will automatically generate the tool path. And here's an image of the, the software used, correct? Correct. This is the graphical user interface of the smooth gear milling software. Now, when programming a gear, you can do that right at the machine. Correct. Right at the machine. Just fill in the uh, text fields, and the software will automatically generate the tool path. And is that, I mean, in the past, how, how have uh, companies cut gears like this before? In, in the past, companies have used uh, CAD CAM systems to develop the tool path. And all that, that, so that has to be done offline. It's not something Correct. That be it's done all right done right offline. Machine. Interesting. So yeah, just fill in the field and then the, the control will generate all the speeds, feeds, and gear paths, right? That's correct. It'll, it'll, it'll generate the tool path. However, the, the user has to define the cutting conditions, such, such as feeds and speeds. And now we've gotten into gear skiving. Correct. So what you see here is uh, OD smooth gear skiving. So we're cutting the right hand helical gear of the double helical gear. And this is when the upgrades to the spindle and the table really start to matter, so they're perfectly synced. That's correct. So the smooth gear milling software uh, works with the rotary scale feedback of the, of the milling spindle and the turning spindle to uh, enable the proper RPM for, for power skiving operations. And usually this is done on a dedicated gear machine. Correct. Correct. These type of operations are typically done on power skiving machines. Okay. But when using a machine like this, you also still have the capabilities of the other Integrex uh, machines. That's correct. You can still do 2D turning operations, two and a half to up to five axis milling operations. And tell me about what we're seeing now. So what we're, uh, what we're doing now is we're cutting the ID spur gear. So ID power skiving and OD power skiving is the same operation. However, in an ID application, the turning spindle and the milling spindle rotate in the same direction. However, in an OD application, the spindles rotate in an opposite direction. But you don't need to worry about that because the, the smooth gear skiving software automatically takes care of that for you. And now this to me looks like part pro. Correct. What we're doing is we're actually scanning the lead of the tooth profile. Okay. And what's the difference between that and probing a part? Well, on a probing a part, you just take one hit. Here we're taking thousands of points along the lead of the uh, tooth flank and also the profile. To ensure quality. Correct. And there's our finished part.